Well, like Cherie said, it will be nice to see it um, brought back to life again uh, down in the U.S. Because that's where she was. She was passionate wherever she went. But her passion is really in the U.S. And, and like Cherie said, I think it was when, you know, working at the, uh, the home there with Sharada. And then she went out and she got the job. Um, with youth villages she's just seen so many hurt and torn children and just saw that the system just wasn't working and I'm, I'm sure she's really disappointed that you know everyone that she had with her just kind of dropped it like after she was done like after what had happened she was gone um, unfortunately, like here where I am, like I can't continue it on. I don't have her contacts. And I know she wasn't afraid to go to anybody, whether it's a politician or who it was, to say what she needed to say. But uh, for me, like Coach Cook says, uh, she's always on my mind. Um, I think of her with everything that I do. I take her with me. Uh, I wear her helmet when I go, I have her bike. I wear her helmet when I go bike riding. And even when I take the grandchildren now, because I have some of her cycling clothes, they wear her cycling clothes. So she's with me wherever I go, especially when I'm on that, on that bike. And yeah, it would be a dream come true for me to see something get started back in the U.S. again in her honor, regardless of how big or how small. But, you know, I'm sure it eventually start off small and eventually take off from state to state because she did make an impact just in the trip going from Charlotte to San Diego. Never mind the trip coming back, but just the trip going because of all the stops that she had to make to get there in the first place. But, uh, yeah, and all the interviews that she had and the people she spoke to, the people that she was in contact with, just for a matter of five minutes, seeing her name come back out and go back out there, I, I think there, there would be a lot more, a lot of support. Who knows, you might even get Oprah and Ellen involved. <laughs> I did send an email to Ellen, but I never heard anything back. <laughs> 